I love the Minions as characters. When I originally found out there was going to be an entire Minions film, absolutely ecstatic. I have to say, I kind of prefer the Minions films to the Despicable Me films. Maybe only just, but I am very fond of them. And, you know, having Stuart, Kevin and Bob as protagonists is a brilliant idea because they're just three of well, the, the three best Minions and I absolutely love them. The first Minions film was released in 2015, believe it or not. Uh, directed by Kyle Balda and Pierre Coffin, written by Brian Lynch, with a, a ridiculously amazing voice cast, including Sandra Bullock, who I love, uh, John Hamm, Michael Keaton, uh, Pierre Coffin voices the Minions, Steve Coogan, Jennifer Saunders, Jeffrey Rush, you know Steve Carell. It, it, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And... The description from IMDb explains it really nicely, and this says, Minions, Stuart, Kevin and Bob are recruited by Scarlet Overkill, a supervillain who, alongside her inventor husband Herb, hatches a plot to take over the world. So these really sweet, lovely little Minions, I say they're sweet, the poster, the marketing poster shows them with their bottoms on display. Generally very sweet, innocent, naive, I think is a, uh, the best way to describe them. These naive minions are hired by Scarlet Overkill, voiced by Sandra Bullock. And that contrast of naivety and evil is just, it brings so much hilarity. And, you know, the involvement of the monarchy is something that I really enjoyed. I thought that was, that was fantastic. Um, seeing the history of the minions and... The different people they've served over the years, I thought was absolutely brilliant. It's it's a really nice kind of backstory for the minions and something that I thought was brilliant. And you know they're on this road trip all over the world, and we get to see them in these different situations and scenarios, and it's just it's brilliant fun. The narrative is good. I like the narrative development. I thought it was very interesting seeing these obedient minions in. All of these different situations, particularly loved it when they were in London, of course, and the narrative develops well. I, I like it, but for me, it's not so much about the narrative and more about just the minions as characters, their responses. It's very funny, they're very cute. Now, I will say, you do have to like the minions if you are not a particular, particularly a big fan of the minions, then you will not enjoy this at all. Because it's minion central from start to finish. But personally, I think it's really good fun. It's got a fun soundtrack. The you know, the comedy is just perfect. You know, they really, really, really got that. Apparently it had a budget of seventy four million dollars, which is a lot more than I would have expected. Uh, and it grossed worldwide at the uh, over a billion over over a billion dollars which i'm not surprised at it's very very successful uh rated 6.4 out of 10 on imdb which is pretty great uh honestly i really i can't fault it there is nothing about this that i just think didn't work i know there are some people who are not that keen on it and that's perfectly fine but i will say watch the despicable me films first it gets a bit confusing because despicable me one and two came out and then minions and then despicable me three and then minions two i think i think that's the order let's say it is i mean minions two isn't out yet um it's out next year apparently which is going to be very exciting um but i think that's the order uh either way watch the despicable me films first i think that's the better way to do it but Truly adorable. I love the Minions. So pleased with this film. I think I could watch it. And no matter how much of a bad mood I'm in. I really think it would cheer me up instantly. 